There's lots of calls to approve the vaccine for kids six months to four years old, and I can sympathize, but I want to explain some of the data behind it. The FDA gave Pfizer a very low regulatory hurdle to clear to get this approval. All they have to show is that the antibody titers are not inferior to the antibody titers seen at other ages. After two doses of the Pfizer vaccine at that three microgram dose, they failed to achieve non-inferior antibody titers. That was the very, very low benchmark. It didn't have to show a reduction in symptomatic SARS-CoV-2, didn't have to show a reduction in severe disease. Just show me antibody titers. They couldn't clear that. So the company went ahead and added a third dose in the hopes that it will get them where they need to be. But there's no guarantee it will. It might take a third or a fourth dose, so they might have to go back to the starting point and rethink the dose entirely and give two doses at a higher dose level. We have no guarantee that the third dose will get you where you need to be for the antibody titer level. But of course, it's just a surrogate endpoint. It's not what you really care about. What you care about is fewer symptomatic disease cases and fewer severe outcomes. The trial wasn't meant to look at that. It doesn't have the power to look at severe disease. It's going to be woefully underpowered for that. What the company did do, and what people encouraged them to do, was look to see if there was a difference in symptomatic SARS-CoV-2 cases, and they thought there was. They took an early look at the data, and they thought there was. That's a secondary endpoint, not the primary endpoint of this study. But then, as they got ready to give the packet of information to people ahead of the Vaccine Advisory Committee meeting, they found that it didn't meet statistical significance or it had a very wide confidence interval that wouldn't exclude a modest relative risk reduction in symptomatic SARS-CoV-2. But there's a bigger point, and the bigger point is you can't look at secondary endpoints infinitely many times and wait for it to reach significance. You don't have significance at that level. It's a classic fallacy, I think, called the Texas sharpshooters fallacy, where someone fires indiscriminately at the side of a barn, and then they go look at the barn and say, hey, there's three bullet holes close together. Let me paint the bullseye right here. If you give someone the opportunity to look infinitely many times at data for secondary endpoints, by chance alone, at some moments in time, it will drift into a favorable territory. You can't go ahead and approve it based on that. It doesn't have statistical persuasiveness. So that was the debacle. I think it was a real debacle because they didn't need to get people excited. They didn't need to tell people we are so close to approval. They could have just been quiet about it and let the trial run as, 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 as it was meant to run. But they got everyone excited, and then they ultimately had to realize that they didn't have what it takes to persuade the panel, they thought, and they pulled back the whole application. That's a fiasco. It's a fiasco for vaccine messaging. It's a fiasco for confidence in the agency. And this is an agency still reeling from the resignation of Marion Gruber and Phil Krause. So I think people who are pushing them to approve this have to ask themselves, are we going to do a trial or not? And if you don't want a trial, then you don't need a trial. You can just go ahead and approve products whenever you wish that you, uh, wish that you had them. But if you're going to do a trial, they should at least pre-specify the endpoint, at least look at it in a rigorous fashion. Otherwise, why are you doing the trial at all? And so I think this pressure and asking them to approve it in a hurry doesn't make a lot of sense. If you really wanted that, you didn't need to do a trial at all. You could have just approved it. But that's not what people want. I think people want some evidence that it's actually going to help. And I think that makes sense. So that's why I think it was a total fiasco. And uh, that's all for today. Until another time.